This video on bestworldpage.com shows you how to replace the battery on an iPod Nano. This uh, iPod Nano is about two years old and uh, doesn't take a charge anymore. So I ordered the battery online. Uh, the package comes with instructions and uh, the battery and a special tool, plastic tool, with uh, wedged edges. One edge is sharper than the other, and you gotta basically play with it, uh, see which uh, fits in the uh, side of the case. Um, the trick is to kind of push the uh, two sides of the uh, iPod away from each other. S try to slide, put some pressure, slide them to make a little gap, so that so that the tool can fit in. And then you push down, trying to release the little tabs that are in there. And uh, once you get it in, you, st you see a gap open, then you slide the tool down. It sounds simple, and it's not really. Um, this video makes it look simple, more simple than it is, because actually I edited this video. Otherwise, you'll see me uh, fumbling with this for like 20 minutes. So it's, it takes a while, and the whole trick to it is to be patient and put pressure on it. And little by little, it starts loosening it up. So patience is important. You don't want to break this. Uh, it's basically a uh, plastic top, and you don't want to scrape it. And you can see pieces of the tool are like, coming apart on it, which is cool. It does, doesn't really damage anything. Um, uh, pretty soon you'll see that I'll uh, have it open. Uh, I use a paper towel on the table so I don't scratch the iPod. You can use cloth towel, whatever your preference is. And I've had the uh, soldering iron um, heating up for about 20 minutes. The trick to soldering small devices to make sure your soldering iron is hot. Don't use a soldering gun. Um, always use a soldering iron because it retains um, the heat better. And this soldering iron has a very fine tip, so all I have to do, because it's so hot, it's just um, the, the connections are really small. Just touch them and I pull the wire. I'm um, noting w there's three different wires and three different colors. I'm noting the positions on them, and in case you forget, the instructions uh, show you that also. What I would recommend instead of soldering it is to cut the wires from the uh, old battery and uh, splice the new battery wires to it. They sell um, these uh, this heat shrink type uh, material, so like a plastic tubing that you can heat up and shrink uh, around the wires the connection. So that'll hold the connection in better. Um, I would look into doing that. If I have to do this again, that's what I would do. Uh, I wouldn't solder it. It's very tricky. The uh, contacts are very close together and is, uh, if you put too much solder they'll spill over and like I said I have a lot of experience uh, soldering electronic devices and especially small ones like this and I found this to be a little challenging uh, one of the tricks to uh, getting solder to go on the connection and a new wire um, to get better heat transfer is to apply a little bit of the solder on the soldering iron before you do it, um, which you will see in a few minutes um, what I mean by that. Because you see it's not really adhering, it's not enough solder there. So I would have to uh, use that trick soon. There we go, I just put very little because I don't want to put too much otherwise it's going to spill over to the next connection. It looks like I got the first connection. See, that it's n I didn't get any connection there. So I'm putting a little bit on the wire. Um, it's, it's a little bit on the soldering iron. And then I touch two, two pieces, the wire and the uh, contact, very quickly. I don't leave the soldering iron on the contact because it could damage the uh, board and the electronic components. So it's just a slight touch. So I'm repeating this for the uh, all three leads. I'm 
there I had a little too much solder, so I'm, I'm taking some of it out by, uh, and there it is. The battery just snaps in to the hole. I still have to um, now put back the uh, plastic uh, insulating tape that was there. It's a yellow type tape. It protects it from the case. And I guess it protects that area from getting shorted. Now putting, uh, before you put the case back together, you have to push back the tabs because in opening it, the tabs get bent up. So you push them back down um, very gently. It's very thin metal, so it can easily break. Even if you break one tab off, no big deal. There's several others. And I'm cleaning it because there's a lot of pieces of that plastic that uh, got left in there. I got shredded from all the force that I needed to use to get that case open. And the case, once you do that, the case snaps back in very easily. And uh, you should charge it overnight and enjoy. Visit Best World page. For a lot of other interesting things, not just the techie stuff, but some music videos. There's sections in the arts, health, cams, travel, housing, finance, etc. Thank you.